Are you being sexually rejected by your partner? Many of my clients experience the painful act of rejection when it comes to intimacy in a partnership, meaning they want it more frequently than their man, or they just want it wilder than their partner. In both cases, rejection can hurt just as much as it does to get physically rejected, meaning pushed away. Sexual rejection in partnerships happens more often than we like to admit. And it's not just men who receive this lovely treatment from the women, but more and more ladies nowadays receive it from the men. And in this case, it doesn't matter whether you are together for a year, two, 20 or 30. Sexual rejection is so painful because it directly corresponds and triggers our deep-rooted fear of not being good enough. Because the first thing we do is point fingers at ourselves and ask what is wrong. Some people say that sex isn't as important for them because they put their focus on other aspects in a relationship. And while this might be true for them, because everyone has a different sex drive and also different priorities, in reality and in my experience, in my life, with myself, my surroundings, but also my clients, when the sexual aspect doesn't work, the relationship will sooner or later crumble. Because what is more intimate to us than intimacy, bonding and pleasure? The sexual life in a partnership is often an indicator on how healthy the relationship is because anything that is going on around in our lives and within ourselves and the dynamic with our partner will be reflected in our sex lives. In the same time, sex is the last thing that goes. If that was the only thing that binded a partnership when everything else didn't work. Women often tend to think that something is wrong with them because there is this firm belief that men need their sexual fulfillment, that men need to be fulfilled by their women, whereas they often tend to forget their own desires and their own pleasure. Women struggle almost more with sexual rejection than men do because they think that if they don't meet their partner's sexual desires and needs, certainly someone else is. When sexual rejection starts to happen on a regular basis and the breaks between intimacy sessions prolongs, it's really time to address it. And ideally you do that right from the start. As I mentioned, there is a fluctuation in our sex life, but the moment it becomes more regular than usual and it starts to bother you, you have to speak up. The ideal way to talk with our partners about this is not to put them in a blame and judgment position, but to express it from an I form, meaning explaining how you feel about the situation and how you see it and how you would like it. This will make your partner less defensive to whatever you have to say and create a safe space for them to respond and not to react. While there can be many reasons for sexual rejection, I actually want to focus in this video on one. In my client sessions, it often occurred that the relationship in itself was healthy, that the love was there, the trust was there, the intimacy in other areas was there. But the sexual rejection actually occurred because a part in the woman was rejecting herself. A part in the woman wasn't feeling good enough to receive, wasn't feeling worthy of allowing herself the fullest pleasure that she desires and also deserves. This is not as uncommon in committed partnerships as you might think, because in the beginning, everything is wonderful. We are in love. We are in the so-called honeymoon phase, rose-eyed colored glasses. With time, of course, they fade and our old subconscious patterns start playing out if we haven't worked through them. Energetically, it's not just women who pick up energy from men during sexual intercourse in our womb, but it's also men who pick up the energy from women. If you are really playing out that program that you are having a belief system running that doesn't allow you to feel fullest pleasure, pleasure and receive in your highest mode, the man will start to feel it and for some reason just want to reject you without knowing why. 
Ergo, when you address this with your man, he won't have a reasonable answer for you because it runs on a highly subconscious level. It's energy. The first thing you really have to do is check in your inner dialogue and see where are you running a belief that is undermining your desire. Meaning if you desire pleasure in your life and you want to have crazy orgasms and this deep connection with your man, but at the same time you're questioning whether your body is able to receive a certain state of bliss, whether you are worthy of receiving the full sexual and erotic pleasure that you want, then it will contradict what you're trying to achieve in your private life. Sexual energy has many implications and one of them is that our deep beliefs about our body and our own sexuality can truly affect how our partner desires us. This is not about pointing fingers or finding any kind of fault in yourself. But after all, tantric and sexual healing is exactly all about that, that we often tend to carry deep-rooted wounds and feelings of unworthiness inside of us that come out after a certain time. They tend to be mirrored in our partners when we are starting to be ready to see it. Your partner who is mirroring that, who is rejecting you, he is actually doing you a favor. And I know it's hard to see it in this moment, but he's showing you which parts of you need to be addressed because those parts are most likely rejected by yourself. And only when you can address them properly, listen to them, understand them, then you will be able to experience this bliss after you dissolved it in the way that you truly desire it and that you deserve. Sending you so much love. Mwah.